Iran has revealed its plans to buy Su-35 fighter jets from Russia to revive its aging air force. This calculated move would mark one of isolated Tehran's most important defense purchases since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. In today's video, we are going to talk more about the new super fighter helicopter. Stay tuned to find out more. Iranian Air Force Commander Brigadier General Hamid Vahidi has said that buying Su-35 fighters is on the plan of their Air Force. However, the final decision rests with the Army and Army General Staff Headquarters. Iran has declared a 64 new aircraft requirement, of which 24 were thought to come from Egypt but stay undelivered due to the pressure of U.S. The calculated purchase of Su-35 has come after Iran supplied combat drones to Russia to rebuild combat losses and fill in gaps in Moscow's drone abilities that have been exposed in the Ukraine war. It was reported that Russia has multiple drone projects, but its immature drone industry, restricted availability of advanced technologies, and lack of high-end operational models compared to low-end ones have delayed its progress. The potential sale may be an act of reciprocity and could intensify the strategic partnership between the two sides, both of which face Western sanctions and evolving international isolation. According to United Aircraft Corporation, Russia's state-owned aerospace consortium, the Su-35 is a thoroughly modernized variant of the Su-27 air superiority fighter. It assesses the Su-35 as a 4 plus generation fighter that blends fifth-generation technologies on a fourth-generation airframe. UAC notes that the Su-35 is an air superiority fighter manufactured for beyond visual range and within visual range air battles. It has also long-range air-to-surface hit capability against ground and naval targets. UAC also claims that the Su-35 has the qualities of a modern fighter, blending super maneuverability, improved active and passive sensors, high supersonic speed, long range, a large range of armaments, recent electronic warfare capabilities, reduced radar signature and improved survivability. If Iran's purchase goes through, which is still in question, the Su-35s can be the most important modernization in decades for its aging air force, which now depends on pre-1979 Western fighting aircraft and older Chinese and Russian models. Iran's indigenous aerospace program has also met with diverse results. Its most capable fighter is the F-14 Tomcat, which it first obtained in 1976 to intercept Soviet MiG-25R Foxbat reconnaissance flights over Iran. The F-14's superior flight factors, strong AWG-9 radar and AIM-54 Phoenix BVR missiles gave it much extended engagement ranges and better maneuverability than the F-15 Eagle. Iran obtained 79 F-14s before the 1979 Iranian Revolution, and the aircraft confirmed their worth during the 1980-88 Iran-Iraq War. However, the Iran-Iraq War and sanctions have taken a toll on Iran's F-14 fleet, but Iran's 40 or so surviving F-14 Tomcats are still among the best combat aircraft in the Middle East. The absence of U.S. spare parts, maintenance, and technical service Iran has boosted its F-14 fleet with new radars, radios, and navigation systems, while adding compatibility to Russian-made R-73 BVR missiles, U.S.-made Hawk surface-to-air missiles, and through reverse engineering. America's AIM-54 Phoenix radar-guided long-range air-to-air missile is the Fakur-90. But despite these upgrades, Iran's fighting aircraft are old, with some airframes more than 40 years old. These airframes' age is also a primary reason for accidents in the Iranian Air Force. The last time Iran amassed modern combat aircraft was in the 1990s, when it earned MiG-29A Fulcrum fighters from Russia. Before that, Iran amassed Chinese F-7s during the Iran-Iraq War and copies of the Soviet MiG-21. During the 1991 Gulf War, Iran commandeered Iraq's MiG-29s and French-made Mirage F-1s when their pilots sought asylum to prevent capture or being murdered by coalition forces. However, Iranian pilots are disappointed with Chinese combat aircraft while pointing out that back in 1997 and 98, Iran assessed China's F-8 fighter and rejected it. He said that even without spares and maintenance, the F-14s were still improved to the newer Chinese-made F-8s, with Aydan noting Iran's similar sentiments against Iran's MiG-29 8As after testing them against its F-14s. To be clear, China's aerospace industry has enhanced greatly since then, probably surpassing Russia in some areas. A Chinese defense insider has said that long range is the only benefit the Su-35 has over contemporary Chinese fighters such as the J-16 and the J-10. 
with the Su-35's radar, navigation system and all other electronic elements comparatively inferior. Russia has lost two Su-35 squadrons since it invaded Ukraine in February while raising new questions about the type's combat capabilities. Besides U.S. drones creeping on its nuclear sites, Iran has Israeli air incursions to bother about bombing its nuclear site. The Times of Israel has already reported that Israeli F-35 fighters had entered Iranian space many times from June to July, while evading Russian and Iranian air defenses. The source also noted that drones and aerial refueling tankers have taken part in the drills, with the U.S. and Israel carrying out private exercises in the Red Sea simulating air and sea assaults against Iran. Well, Su-35s may be Iran's best bet to modernize and enhance its air force, despite the performance problems, technical difficulties and other challenges facing Russia's defense industry. What's your take on this topic? Tell us in the comments section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace.